What's going on everybody? So my agency just started utilizing monday.com to manage all of our website projects and it's going pretty well so far. And so I wanna break down exactly how we're utilizing Monday, how we're laying out all of the processes and tasks of each website build. And then we're gonna be talking to you about whether or not this is a good fit for you and your business. So let's jump into it. All right, so we are here on monday.com. Before we dive into my actual dashboard and before I walk you through my process that we've laid out within monday.com, I wanted to briefly give you um, like a quick overview of exactly what monday.com is, in, in what scenarios you should be using a tool like monday.com, and then we're gonna talk pricing as well. I know these are the big questions that you're gonna have up front. Uh, I'm gonna break down the different plans and which one's going to be a good fit for you. Um, but first off, uh, what monday.com does is essentially gives you a hub or an app for you to manage and monitor and organize um, people and projects and tasks and timelines. And it essentially is um, like you're all in one place to organize your business, okay? And up here at the top uh, under the use cases tabs, it tells you right off the bat that it's great for project management, marketing, CRM and sales, remote work, development, HR, IT, construction, creative. Um, I know a lot of people that use this to plan out their social media um, posts or their advertising or, or whatever it is, um, especially if you have the type of business where you're, you're working like a, a specific project through a process and you wanna be able to track and manage that and especially if you've got different individuals that are like kinda of have their hands on that at different parts of that process. This is going to be a really, really great tool for you, um, and I would definitely suggest using something like this. And honestly, I don't think it's too soon or too early ever to implement something like this because it's going to save you a ton of time in the long run. And what my team and I found is if you wait too long to implement something like this, you're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking to kind of plug every client and project into your process once you made it. And so definitely looking into something like this in the early stages of your business is going to be really, really useful. Um, so with that being said, um, I wanna dive over into the pricing as well, because again, this is a huge question, right? Like we're freelancers, we're on a, a budget more often than not, and we don't wanna have a ton of monthly expenses. And so what you're gonna see here is it's got a minimum of three seats and you can search by seats and that's going to change um, your prices slightly. But what you're looking at is, is probably your basic or your standard plans are gonna give you plenty to work with. I believe right now we're on the standard plan. Um, it's given us more than enough to start organizing things. Um, I don't see us in the near future needing to upgrade to that pro plan. Um, but you're looking at for that minimum of three seats uh, between $24 a month for the basic to 29 for the standard. Um, and I know that might seem like a lot, especially if it's just you or just you and another person. And so you're gonna to wanna to kind of weigh your, you know, the pros and cons and determine if that money's worth it. But I think once we dive into my dashboard, you're gonna see that it is going to be really helpful for you. And for me, this was something hard. Um, it was hard for me to spend money on this at first, mainly because I'm just not a, I'm not much of a, like an organizer. I'm not an organized person. And so the idea of spending money just to like write out tasks and organize like that, it didn't seem appealing to me until I got on the dashboard and then I was pretty blown away. And so, um, within this pricing, really the only difference that you're um, looking at is um, you've got create a dashboard based on one board or create a dashboard that combines up to five boards. And so you're just limited to with the amount of like different teams and projects and things that you can use. But I would definitely suggest starting at that lower one. Um, and I believe they have, yeah, they have free trials as well. And so uh, try those out and see exactly what it is that, uh, that you need and don't need. Um, the only other significant thing as you scroll down through these um, like comparisons are private boards. This is something that I wish we had and I could see us maybe upgrading to Pro just for that, but I have kind of the SEO branch of my business and the web design branch of my business and then myself and my project manager work a lot together on kind of like side projects and things. And so the fact that um, you can do those private boards is really, really useful. You can kind of pick and choose, um, but I'll get into that a little bit more and show you how that works. Besides that, there's really nothing that you're going to have to worry about besides possibly storage space and guest access. Um, unless you're uploading a ton of files, you're going to be just fine, okay? So again, I would suggest starting with the basic plan on a free trial, and then if you need to upgrade, it's pretty easy. 
Um, but for sure, the standard plan is going to give you more than enough. You know, like I said, I, I myself have a team of five or six individuals, and that standard plan has given us plenty to work on. And so, um, with that, let's jump over into my dashboard. Here we are on my dashboards, um, and the first thing that you're going to notice is we've got all of our different, um, I don't know if you want to call them like buckets or, or different categories over here, and where you've got websites, templates, SEO, and general. Um, and then one thing that we like to use a lot is this favorites tab where you can keep track of kind of your, your main priority clients, right? Um, but what you're going to see in here is within these different buckets, you can lay out your, um, your project, okay? And so um, right now we've got this on the default view and you're gonna be able to click right here and you can add additional types of views. I know a really popular one is the Kanban view. Um, you, you're probably familiar with this where you can move these different tasks from one slot to another. So when you're kicking it off, you can kind of put it in this bucket and then to the, the next phase, uh, you know, phase one, phase two, completed, reviewed, whatever it is. Um, and that's a really nice visual to watch these tasks move through the process. For me, I work um, just mentally and visually on more of like a checklist type thing. That's something that I do on my phone every morning is I have a checklist of the things that I need to get done. And so this is how we've laid things out where we've got them broken down and color coded. Um, this is a, a one example of one of our early on drafts of a website project where we've got preparation, site framework, revision and feedback, site completion, and site launch, okay? Now what I wanna cover in each of these is you've got these um, these different columns here, which number one is going to give you the ability to um, leave comments, start a conversation, tag different team members, and this is a really great place to kind of keep the conversation um, alive about these individual tasks. This is also a place where I'll show you here in a minute where I really like to upload any sort of resources or templates or anything that my team might need. And so one good example of that is within the comments when I'm telling my project manager that you need to send the welcome email, for example, under the comments, he's gonna be able to copy and paste that template as I want it sent and then be able to utilize that. So you can keep everything for each task all in one place. The next thing that I really love is you're able to um, delegate tasks by people. And so you can see these first tasks, a lot are me, a lot are my um, designer, Jared. And so what you're gonna be able to do is just click on those and select the person that it applies to. And as you click their name, it's going to send them a notification that says, hey, you've been given a task, the task is named this. And then it's going to give them also the other details that it has as far as status, timeline. Um, you can see over here, you click the plus to add a column. You can add a date for like a deadline. You can add um, time tracking, you can, um, kind of have like more complex form formulas and dependencies. So it's like, you know, if you do this task, it creates this task, or if this task isn't done, it creates another task. Um, you can do literally anything that you want. If I click more columns here, it's gonna show you kind of an app form, these different ones. You can add numbers, sub items or categories, um, status again, which you can custom set your status. Um, you saw ours, it was like working on, completed, stuck, um, whatever you want those statuses to be. Um, you can add just general text, long text, um, a link, a number, whatever it is that you want to add. And so every task is going to have those details um, on those columns next to it within that same row. That's going to allow your team to say, okay, I got delegated a task, here's the name of the task, here are the resources that I need within the comments. The status of the task is you know, working on it and I'm going to set that and I know that the timeline is, or the deadline is two weeks from now and it gives a really clear view of exactly what needs to be done, okay? So after we dove into this and we started playing with this with a couple of our clients, we determined that um, with this like ability to lay out all of these tasks, we wanted to leave like nothing to chance or nothing out that could potentially cause like a, a roadblock in that process, right? And so that led us to this new board right here, which is called Entire Process uh, Responsibilities. And so this is kind of the template, right? And so what we did is we basically broke down every single task that happens in the entire project of building and delivering a website for a client. And this is really, really clean and we're, we're continually adding different things to this. Um, and I don't wanna spend 
all of our time here just like walking through each of these tasks. But you can see how effective this is for me to be able to lay out our sales process, which is something that I cover, right? Our initial sales call to follow up call to setting out the agreement to following up on the agreement and then sending the initial invoice. Um, and then we're getting into the project kickoff and this is where our project manager steps in and he creates a Google Drive. He sends the welcome email, just like I spoke with you about in the comments. I've got that email tagged right here so he can copy and paste that. Um, he's gonna schedule a kickoff call, create a Slack channel, create a Monday board, which he's gonna duplicate this template, attend kickoff call, um, create site outline within the doc. And so this is like when you're determining kind of the outline of the site, if you're utilizing CMS collections, which we do within our sites. Um, deliver content to the web designer and then deliver site outline to the web designer. So you can see every single task down to every interaction, every email, everything's going to be laid out in this. And I really like this because I can track the progress of my team. And so I can see, let's just say we kick off um, a project, we go through the whole kickoff process, we have the kickoff call, we get into the web design part and then we get to review site inspiration and the status has never changed and nothing ever happens and a couple days go by, I can pinpoint exactly what's holding up our process so then myself or my project manager can reach out to our designer and say, hey, you're having issues with this task. What can we do to help you complete this so we can move on to the next step of our process? And so it's really nice to have this visual of exactly what needs to be done within a project and this was a night and day difference I'm going to this from what I was doing before where it was kind of just like shooting from the hip, right? I was just like, oh, I've built a couple pages in your website. I'll send you a link and maybe we have like a random revision call and you can tell me what you think. But now with this, my clients know exactly when our calls are. They know exactly how many revision calls there are. My project manager knows the exact moment that he should send a link to those clients to schedule that call and everybody knows exactly what's expected of them and if they're falling short or not completing what's assigned to them, then I'm able to follow up with them to step in and help them and make sure that things progress smoothly, right? Now with all these, again, I love that we can set the timeline that helps people stay on track. We've got our status. Task details gives us another column to add any additional um, items and then we've got this drop down where we can specify who else can help with this task, right? So scrolling down a little bit more, um, just to briefly walk you through the design outline. So it shows everything from when he's going to receive the content, the site, he's gonna review site inspiration, start designing the homepage, send the link to the project manager. Um, the project manager then is going to review that link, um, send the email to the client with the Figma link and then schedule direction call. And so that gives you a really good idea too everything that we need to do uh, leading up to our first direction call is is completed and it should go fairly smoothly and typically we can finish this within a week or two which is really awesome to kind of get a good jump on the project which again resolved another issue that we had which was the first two to three weeks of a project would go by without us doing anything because we were kind of spinning our wheels and trying to get organized and now with this the second they sign that agreement and pay that deposit invoice the process is started it's automated and especially with a project manager um, who does an awesome job, it's gonna make it really easy for him to just go step by step and make sure everybody's doing their stuff. And this way he doesn't rely on me to tell him what needs to be done so then he can follow up. Um, and that is, I guess, a quick side note for those of you that are hiring. If you can write out your process, is it's going to take time and it's gonna save you so much time because there's been a lot of instances where I don't write things out for my project manager and then I'm like, oh, it'd just be quicker for me to reach out to the designer and tell him rather than tell the project manager so then he can tell the designer. But if you just write everything out, it gives them something to reference and it's gonna make it really easy for you to kind of set it, let things go, have everybody do their tasks and move things along a lot more smoothly. So I'm gonna scroll through this because a lot of this is just the back and forth of revision call, taking notes, um, going back and making the revisions, designing the rest of the pages, passing it back to the project manager, scheduling another call. Um, and so it goes back and forth through that whole process um, once the designs are final, <clears throat> then we jump into the development phase, which um, is when we're gonna dive into web flows, what we use, and we are going to start um, developing the pages and basically taking everything that we got from the design and plugging that in to um, web flow. Going back and forth, revision calls, taking notes, 
um, at the very end, accessing domain, sending hosting payment link, connecting the domain, and then we have the closeout, which is sending final invoice, and then this last one, is this an SEO client? And if so, go to the other board. So you can see exactly how we're using this, how we're utilizing it. Um, this is an awesome tool, and if you were to ask me if it's worth the money, I would say uh, 100%, because it saved me so much time and so much money um, and, and again, it's never too early to implement something like this in because you're going to be shocked at the parts of your process that you're either forgetting or missing or where there are hitches because you're not outlining things and actually taking the time to write them out and then track them, okay? So the only other thing that I want to cover because I think this is a really powerful feature, especially for those of you that are using um, communication tools like Slack, which is what we use um, for our communication outside of Monday is you've got these integrations. And so if you click up here at the top, it's going to give you these integrations. Um, you can do you integrate with Gmail, you can integrate with Slack, basically anything that you need to. Um, but essentially what you're going to be able to do is search through this list of all these integrations. And uh, exactly how it shows here is when blank happens, it changes blank, notify channel of blank, right? So if I type in Slack, it's gonna pull up Slack and if I click this, it's showing me the integration options. For example, when date arrives, notifying channel, or when an item is created, or a status changes, or a column is changed, notifying Slack. And so what we have is we have a different channel for every single client. And so let's just say for, you know, if my client was McDonald's, and we had a, a Slack channel for McDonald's and a Monday.com board for McDonald's, Every time something was changed or updated, it would send a message in our Slack that says, hey, just letting you know that um, so-and-so, the web designer, updated this, and so now it's your turn to jump in with the next task. These automations are really, really easy to set up. You click on them right here. It asks you to um, basically connect your Slack account, and then you just click the dropdowns and tell them exactly what you want to happen and you can plug in all of these integrations and you're good to go. Now keep in mind that some of the plans have limits on integrations. They also have limits on the amount of like processes that can be done. So let's say that you're sending um, a thousand updates from Monday into your Slack channel. Um, you're probably gonna have to upgrade to a more expensive account just to be able to, or, or plan to be able to keep up with that. But overall, um, Monday.com has been an awesome awesome tool you're able to, to hop right in create these different boards start plugging in tasks um, and you can literally customize your whole process and I would say as far as automating our business this has been the biggest game changer for us and in particular for me because I am not good with the details I'm not a detail oriented person but being able to visualize things has made it a lot more fun to check in every day see what's been done what hasn't been done and so if you were in the position where you're wanting to kind of scale your business and stay more organized, monday.com is going to be a great, great resource for you. So what I will do is I'll drop a link to a free trial of Monday down in the description. Um, any other resources that you need, I'll drop those down there as well. Um, I may eventually be sharing this entire process with you so you can check in the description to see if that's there. And please, if you found any value in this video, it really helps me out to smash that like button and subscribe if you'd like to hear more videos about web design, project management, SEO, everything that goes into running a successful digital marketing agency. Uh, my hope is to have videos coming out each and every week that are gonna be really valued, valuable to you in order to grow and scale your business, make more money, provide more value to your clients, and live a better life. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Yeah.